Hi everybody. This is a video just uh, where I'm trying to solve this uh, exercise concerning the uh, engine power calculation. So I started out with this CAS tool here. Um, and I always want to convert my different data into basic SI units. So I started out converting the 255 kilowatts into just watts. Um, then I don't have a problem later on with the decimal. So the next thing is that looking at this exercise I'm seeing that it has a mechanical efficiency of 0 0.89 and it has a brake power of 255 kilowatts. Then I know that I'm losing some power before going to the brake power and the power I'm losing is 11% uh, which is lost between the cylinder liner and the oil bath uh, mechanical flywheels um, and so on so the indicated power the power available for uh, the cylinder work is uh, 255 kilowatts times the 11% or plus 11% so you can write it like this you can say that you want to divide that by 0 0.89 and you get an indicated, uh, indicated power of uh, 280 uh, 86 kilowatts if you change that to kilowatts <clears throat> okay so I tapped in a bit further on here the uh, laptop here so you didn't have to take care of that or use time on that but what I want to do is that I want to use the relationship between power and pressure, displacement volume, and rounds per minute, and the number of cylinders. You have to take into consideration that this brake power is dependent on all six cylinders. So you have to take care of that in your equation. So the indicated power up here accounts for all cylinders. Since we are asked to calculate the stroke of the engine, you know that the stroke is dependent on the bore of the engine. So <clears throat> if you want to calculate the bore of the engine, you can use this formula for the area. And if you have um, the pi, divided by 4 times the bore to the power of 2 times the stroke you have the displacement volume of one cylinder okay so the only thing that you actually need to do is to rearrange this equation so what you want to do is you want to divide um, all the values on the uh, right side here with this one there's the, there's the mouse with um, pressure pi divided by four or to the power of two and the number of rounds per minute and the number of cylinders so if I do that the only thing left on the right side of the equal sign is the stroke. The next thing you have to do, and you have to be careful about that, is to trans uh, or to um, translate all the uh, units from the exercise into SI units. So you want to have the bars here in Pascal 
and one bar is equal to 10 to the power of 5 pascals. So you want to apply the uh, 18.2 bars with 10 to the power of 5. The next thing you have to take into consideration is that you want your OR here, which was given at uh, 80, 80 millimeters, you want to have that in meters as well. So that's 0 0.08 meters. The next thing is that the rounds per minute is in minutes and SI units is seconds when we are talking about time. So you want to divide the uh, 5200 RPMs by 60. So you get the rounds per minutes in rounds per seconds. So now you're wondering why there is a figure of 2 down here. Well, it says in the assignment that's, that it is a 4-stroke engine. And the 4-stroke engine only delivers power stroke for each um, for each second turn of the engine. So it has to go two turns before it delivers one power stroke. And that's why we need to divide the RPMs by two. So you actually have the work on a four stroke engine having to go two rounds in order to make one power stroke. And the number of cylinders is also multiplied due to the fact that this was this indicated power was for all six cylinders. So if you do that, your result will come out in meters and you can of course uh, multiply that by a thousand because it takes a thousand millimeters for one meter and you get the right result. It says over here, the right resu result is 120 millimeters. So the tricky part is that if you're in doubt about this, you have to do a unit analysis. Then you won't be in doubt of what you're doing. And that's going to be your exercise. Try to put in the units for all these values here and see if it doesn't turn out in meters. Okay.